Okay, we are here at Kills and Wheels 2016. As you see behind me, this is where all the people are with all the cars and the boats. So we're fixing to do some interviews right now. And I'm Gail, your host, with Cars with Curves. Now let's go interview some guys with some gorgeous cars that they have. They've traveled from all over the United States here, so let's go see. Okay, we're here with our first car, and we have with this car the owner which is Keith Smith right how are you pretty good and mm -hmm. tell us about your car here okay this is a uh, 1932 Rio Royale uh, rumble seat coupe it was made by a Rio uh, motor company and uh, they made cars and trucks uh, through the 20s and 30s and they stopped making cars in 1936 and uh, this series right here was a, uh, a, a top-of-the-line series that they made called the Royale very limited production. They only made 32 of these, and this one happens 30, to be... 32, that's all? 32, th that's it. And uh, this is the last one known to exist of the 32 coupes. Oh, cool. So how, so how long have you had it? I've had it for seven years. And well, I bet you're glad you it was it in this condition. It was in pretty nice condition, but went all back through it, and I uh, had to restore a few things on it and get it running well and, and uh, refabricate some missing parts, and uh, so got it all up into show shape. Oh, that's great. And so you dr drove, uh, did you haul your car down here on a trailer? We did. I've got it in a closed trailer, brought it down from Dallas. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, thank you so much, yeah, Keith. Absolutely. Enjoy. Yeah. A great, gorgeous car. Oh, well, thank you. Thank very you. Much. Thank really you. Appreciate it. Enjoy the show. Nice to, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now we're here with another American made car, and we're here with Ron Jordan. Tell us a little bit about your car. My car is a 1956 Packard. And the particular model that I have with me today is a Packard 400, and it was the hardtop convertible version of the, the upper line of Packards that were made in 1956. 1956, by the way, is the last year they made a true Packard in this country. Uh, the other Packards that I have are Packard Caribbeans. They are top-of-the-line Packards. One convertible that I have, and I have another hardtop convertible. And then I also have the Packard Patrician, which is a four-door version of the car that you see here with me today. Now, here was another old, old, old car. How old is this car? 106 years. Woo, that's old. Now, who are we talking to? Uh, my name is Lee Brown. And tell us a little bit about, about the car. Well, uh, in addition to me being an owner, John Alkire, who's right here, is also yep. a co-owner. Yep. Uh, I own the left half. He owns the right half, I think. <laughs> he, he tells me I own the right half. get the polish there. Yeah, that'll work. Now, tell us a little bit about the car. Well, it's, a, it's an Italian limousine made in uh, Milan, Italy. Oh, really? Uh, the chassis and everything, of course, is made in, by the uh, Italians. <laughs> and the body is French, and a lot of the components are German. Now, what year is this car? 1910. Woo! That's old. Yeah. And it was, it was uh, purchased by a wealthy American. He, he, he didn't work, so it's this, this fun car he had. Oh, I, I, how long have you had it? Uh, we've owned it 13 years. Thir 13 years. Wow. Going on another 20. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> car will be here. I'm not sure we will. Yeah. Car will last longer than we will. Yeah. But it's an unrestored original car. We all we've done is what we call chauffeur maintenance, which right, means right. we we do to this car what if you were a chauffeur back in the day would have done to it, which is clean it, oil it, maintain it, polish it, and all that sort of stuff. But we've never mechanically fixed anything, never painted it. Will, will it drive at all? Oh yeah, we drove it in here. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Well, runs great. Well, thank you, Lee, so much. Okay. Appreciate it, and letting us know a little bit about this old car it's like we are here with mike rigsby and tell us a little bit about your gorgeous car here good i like that gorgeous car i'll pay you later <laughs> uh this is a 1939 packard business coupe this is a deluxe business coupe which i've had for 35 years i restored it and I've had well thank you i appreciate it mike thank you yeah, so you much bet, you bet you here with al kramer and he has got a gorgeous car here. Tell us about your gorgeous car. Well, I wish it was mine. Actually, it belongs to the Classic Car Club of America Museum in uh, Hickory Corners, Michigan. It's a 1936 Buick uh, Model 80C convertible Phaeton. And uh, it was donated to us about three years ago by a member by the name of Jack Beebe. 
Oh, wow. And now, did y'all trade this car away from Michigan? Yes, yes, we did it. We had it shipped down. Actually, the folks here at Keels and Wheels uh, arranged to have it because they wanted one of our cars. So We're here with Don Poinsett, and we're here with another gorgeous car. And, Don, tell us a little bit about your car here. It's a 1947 Chrysler, town and country, convertible. Uh, it's one of about probably 100 still in existence out of about 1,600 that were produced between 1946 and 1948. Wow, it is it's gorgeous. I've never seen one, I mean, this perfect condition. Thank you very much. It's a uh, restoration done by Larry Griffey in Knoxville, Tennessee. Now, was this done? Okay, I understand that you traded your car here all the way from where? Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Now that's a long ways. How many miles is that? 1,040 miles door to door. <laughs> now what made you decide to come all this way down here? Keels and wheels. This is a fantastic show. We were here several years ago with another car. Loved the show. Uh, got, in, got invited again and with a new car and so here we are. It's a great place, great venue. It's a wonderful show, wonderful people. Yes. The country club, everything about it. It sure is. Thank you, Don, right. so much. I appreciate it, Don. Thank you so much. Onwards to another car. We are standing here with Robert Hadji, and he's got this gorgeous blue car here. What what kind of car is this, and how? what year is it? It's a 1933 Auburn, Auburn 8. Auburn 8. Must be an 8-cylinder. Right. Oh. This, this is the only year that they built this particular model car, 1933. Was there very many of them made? Uh, well, back then, not all that many because it was uh, the start of the Depression. Uh, all the car companies were having trouble back then. Oh, I imagine so. But man, how long have you had this car? I've had it since uh, 1952, and I bought it for a college car, and I paid $35 for it. <laughs> $35? <laughs> That's awesome, paying that small amount of... Uh, so well, did you have to... Uh, did you have to... Uh, Redo the car any at all? Uh, completely restored. Every bit. Robert, thank you so much for letting us know about your car. Thank you, thank thank you, you so you. much. Thank you. Now we are with a pristine car right now, a 1929 Stutz. Take a look at this gorgeous car. Oh my God, it's owned by Mr. Mitchell. He, own, he owns a number of cars out here. And this is a Stutz 8 right here. And you see the hood ornament right here? This hood ornament is rod, uh, that's the hood ornament I know, uh, that what came on this car. Uh, take a look, the rest of this car right here, as, you, as you're coming around this way. I mean, this is the epitome of wealth back in 1929 because Wall Street crashed in 1929. Can you imagine owning one of these cars? You know? Wow, wow, wow. Now. Take a look inside right here. Right hand steering. Take a look at that. I mean, it's stick shift, and these cars were actually fast back then. Take a look in the back back here. Now, this car has a rumble seat. Here's a step right here that you step up to get into the rumble seat. That's for somebody that's gonna ride in the back back here that don't mind riding like the uh, mother-in-law. <laughs> To get, to get rid of the motor law. Like I said, with another Mr. Mitchell car, and this is a Duesenberg. This Duesenberg is a 1931. And, uh, God, I mean, this is like two years after the Wall Street crash. Let, let's take a walk around this way. And uh, let's see this car. I mean, a huge, beautiful car here. And uh, take a look. Take a look on the inside right here, and uh, I mean this is, uh, look, at the, look, look at this glass right here, look at this glass. And it's like you're sitting back here in the back, that way no wind gets to you at all, and it's a convertible top. Look at the wire wheels right here, look at the wire wheels, and coming back around this way, uh, the small trunk that Duesenberg's had, and uh, we're, talking, we're talking a million dollar car here, I think, you know, and uh, Another fine, fine, pristine car. Onward to another car. This is a Black Hawk Le Mans race car built in 1929. And to, t 
until today, he still races this car across the United States. Take a, take a look and see this car. This car does uh, around 100 miles an hour, and this car is, so what we are, we're in April right now, and this car is going to Indianapolis 500 racetrack to race there, not during the Indy 500 for sure, but it's like, uh, I mean, look at the wire wheels, these huge tall tires. Uh, give an example how tall these tires are. Look, compared to me, how tall these tires are. And back here in the back, you got a boat tail uh, uh, look to it right here. And can you imagine 100 miles an hour in this car? Mr. Mitchell, you've got great taste in cars. Onward to another. We're here with another race car, and this is a Lola race car. It's a 1962. Take a look at it right here. And you'll see it is nothing but a race car for the track and not for the street because it's not really street legal, this type of car, as you see. I mean, it's stripped. Stripped. I mean, no air conditioning, which the air conditioning is going over your head, to tell you the truth. But uh, anyway, another race car. 32 Dual Cowl Phantom. This is like three years after the Wall Street crash. And look how expensive this car is. I mean, look at this car. It is just flat gorgeous. Look at the engine right here. Oh, God, all chromed out. And this is, this is an original car. Nothing's been modified on this car. Oh, we have left-hand left hand steering here now. And uh, a board back here in the back so you can uh, play dominoes or have lunch or something back there. <laughs> Now take a look. I mean, wire wheels and another Duesenberg trunk back here. Wow, gorgeous cars. You know what? Onward to another car. We're right here. You ready? We're here with a 1938 Talbot Lago. And this car is a teardrop style car right here. As you see, the Tal Talbot image right here is a Paris car all the way from Paris. And it has been uh, refurbished, the car, to brand new condition. Let's take a look around this way. Of course, this car's got right-hand steering on it, as you see. This is how you open the car door, I believe. See, somehow, open the car door this way. No, that's the blinkers. That's the blinkers right there. That's what that is. Back here in the back. As you see, I mean, this is... I mean, look how they made these cars back in Paris. I mean, it, they're totally different than what the Americans make. You know, you know, we're with Rick, and we got this Tabot Lago car here, and it's like, man, tell my gorgeous. What year is this car? 1951. Whoa, it looks like a, a sports car compared to the teardrop one that we just... Completely different car. Uh, this car, actually, the chassis of this car won the 1950 Le Mans, and the driver actually won the National Driving Championship in that oh, year. Oh, really? And they, there's only 30 of these chassis around, and they, this was the very last chassis made. And to commemorate that last chassis, uh, Mr. Largo put out a bid to all the fancy carassiers in the world asking them to submit plans for this chassis. And he gave it to a guy named Giuseppe Farina, who was actually Italian. Yeah. So it's the only French car like this that has an Italian body on it. <laughs> After it was created and built, uh, Giuseppe drove it to Paris for the Paris Auto Salon in 1951, where it won Best in Show. Oh, cool. So uh, how many of these cars are left, do you know? Of the 30, there's about, uh, I think, 21 that are left. This is a one-on-one -on -one car because uh, there's only one body for this car. The guy who actually bought the car was Portuguese. And after the car show, he took possession of it, drove it back to Turin, and he bought all the molds, blueprints, and designs for this car and had them destroyed so nobody else could get another car like this. Oh, well, it's convertible, right? It is a roadster, we like to call it, yeah. Okay. Wow, that is so cool. Well, it's a, it's a really fabulous car. Uh, the original owner, actually, uh, wanted a, a red interior in it because his girlfriend had red hair. <laughs> And he, he had the guy that made the uh, interior look at her hair and try to match her hair, and he did, but it didn't turn out really well because it faded after a year, and so he, then he changed the interior. I think he was done with a girlfriend anyway. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> what a cool story here. Rob, I tell you what, 
we're on to another car. Thank you, Good. Rick. My pleasure. Good luck Appreciate on the show. it. Thank you. Another car. This time we have a new car here, and not an old 30s and 40s car like what what you've been watching at. And what? Tell us what is about McLaren. Well, we are McLaren Houston. We have a. Uh, Today we're showing a 650 and a 570. We are a brand new store here in town. We've been here about three and a half months, and uh, we're very excited to be in Houston. Oh, gorgeous car. What, what color is this? Actually, what, what, is there a certain color name? There, there, there is a, uh, uh, the, the color on this one is uh, Mantis Green. Okay, Mantis Green, okay. Right, so yes, we do have a, uh, the nice thing about with McLaren is you can kind of build your own car. If, if, if you have a certain pink that is a family favorite, <laughs> we can get you that color on the car. So uh, we have what we call MSO, which is um, McLaren Special Operations, and you can build, literally build this car how you want to build it. Oh, cool. I like that. This boat here, it's Chris Craft with a, looks like a shark's fin right here on the back, and uh, it must have been a speedster back then. And the 50, all these boats are back in the 50s and all. Take, take a look around over here, all these other boats that are parked here, and they're, they're going to be judged today and uh, we'll, we'll find out who the winner is later on. So take a look, look at these boats right here. They've got their uh, engines showing right here. I mean, it took a long time to get these boats in perfect condition. You know, so onward to more cars. Now, back over my shoulder right here, take a look. There's some Ferraris on this grassy knoll right here. And all different years of Ferraris. We got this blue Dino Ferrari right here. Some a Testarossa Ferrari over here. Convertible spiders. Spiders up on the hill. We got all types of Ferraris here. And it's like we like I said, we've got all types of cars from everywhere, all over the world. Should should we end up with a Ferrari today or what? <laughs>